what's up guys, Mr. here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we're doing a FIFA 22 video. We're going into every single thing that's removed or added from the game. There's a lot of things that will be changed with the game. We've had quite a lot of leagues, specifically with national teams and also the CBA and also stadiums from all over the world, including as well a few icons that should also be for next FIFA. So, with that said, let's get stuck in. Everything all in one place here. So... Let's go. Yo, it's me, Big Nose. Do you want the best player on the game? Well, you can't get Demani, because he's probably not in FIFA. So, get Phil Bosley. Get all the Phil Bosley. So, if you're looking for the best way to get coins, don't spend fewer points. Go over to userbuy.com for the cheapest place on the market for your coins. Use code VISA at checkout, and most importantly, enjoy the video. So, yesterday we talked about the online creator mode. What should we really change with that game mode? And we had a nice little chat about that and I saw comments saying and I saw comments saying yeah I can't wait to see X league in the game and that made me think what leagues what nations what stadiums what clubs what anything has been already leaked and told about this game because there are a few leagues and teams and stadiums that are already confirmed to be in next game so I thought I'd do a video I can all in one place and know about what teams should be in next game because by now it's in June We'll know most new things. I doubt there'll be much that's changed. Maybe a few little things over there, but I doubt there's much. So here, all in one place, you're going to see all of the information about new things added and things removed. Let's get stuck in. So let us begin with national teams. Now, EA haven't really been that good with national teams in recent years. Like, you've got a large chunk of them, but there's quite a few that's just not there. Like, there's not even any African teams, and also there's not the likes of Croatia in there, and it's not the best in the world. So let's go through teams that are added. It is confirmed that the Ukraine national team will be in FIFA 22. It is confirmed from, I believe, one of the directors and that they, there is now a partnership with Ukraine and EA. So if you're Ukrainian or you like Shevchenko, then this will be in FIFA 22. Another team that is added, a national team, is Uruguay. Uruguay also is a nation that's not in FIFA 22 and it will be guaranteed to be in this next FIFA. So for example, there'll be things at the national team stadium maybe in there, but at least the kits will be there as well. And so that's two new national teams that is guaranteed to be put in. Now, one team, I believe, will be removed, and that is the Argentina national team, which is big. This is big here, really, because a license with Konami, with Argentina, which may get in the way of Argentina being a licensed team in the game, which means that there will not be any Argentine kits in the game, and also including maybe even some Argentine Tyfos, uh, and that's you'll see, like, with Veron, Amazonetti, and Maradona, these kind of players, they won't be any Tyfos of them in the game either if they don't have the Argentine a license. They will still have, I believe, the icons in there. They'll still have Maradona, but they won't have the Argentine national team kits and the badge and stuff for that in the game. So, don't worry about icons. They should still be in the game, but Argentina will be signing a agreement with Konami. This this is big and it also makes sense because, well, I mean, Konami's got Lionel Messi and, well, Argentina, perfect links for them. So, yeah. Let's get into leagues and one league that is guaranteed to be in next FIFA, which I think I said before, which is the Argentinian League. So, it is isn't fully licensed in the current game. It gets kind of there, but not at the same time. Now, it is officially fully licensed and also, most importantly, it has Boca Juniors in there, which is great to see because that means that the new kits are there, the badge, and most importantly, the La Bombardera, the stadium, a very famous world-renowned stadium, La Bombardera, will be, in fact, a usable stadium in FIFA 22. This includes things like FUT and kickoff mode and career mode. Now, I believe River Plate hasn't been confirmed yet, but odds are it should be if Bucket is as well. But I don't want to say it is because I don't fully know, but we're going to wait on that one. But... I'm going to hope for the best. Because if you don't know, because if you don't know, Boca Juniors in the game is known as Buenos Aires and um, River Plate is Nunes. So let's get into some stadiums here. So guaranteed confirmed stadiums is the likes of Ellen Road, which wasn't in the game in the first, you know, in FIFA 21. It should now be a guaranteed, easy to access game but in all markets. Now, I think that you can access it in some uh, forms, but you can't get it in all of it. So on all platforms, Ellen Road leads United Stadium will be there, playable at the start. Including that as well, of course, the likes of Brentford. Brentford will have their new stadium accessible from the start of the game, it should. The reason why Ellen Road was in there first was because of COVID, had COVID gotten away. And let's get into some club licenses too. So for example, the likes of Napoli, as you already know, got a partnership with Konami, with Pez. Napoli will no longer be a licensed club. It'd be similar to Roma or 
Juventus that they'll have there. You know, the, the same players will be there and the same kind of name and gesture, but it'll be a generic badge. It will not be Napoli. It'll probably be called Naples FC or Naples as what it was called back in Pure 13. And it won't have the right kits. So same thing as what it is for Roma or Juventus now. That will be changed for FIFA 22. Also, including that as well, not only is it Napoli joining Juventus and also the likes of Roma, but it's also Atalanta. Atalanta will also no longer be a licensed club for FIFA 22. It will be going over to Konami as well. So same thing as Napoli. Atalanta may be called something else, um, you know, Atta FC. I don't know what, what I may call it. Um, Lady Shampoo Product FC. But it would not be a licensed club. So same thing. Gonna make a badge. Generic name, and you won't have the kits. So, yeah. For some reason right now, EA, oh, they're really struggling. They're real, they really are struggling to get the Serie A licenses down. And it is weird because the Serie A is also licensed, but they just can't get the individual clubs in there. So, it's a bit odd. So, we should see some new hoods. So, in terms of, like, the scoreboards and the subs and all that kind of thing, like, when, when you play in Serie A, that should be changed. They just won't have these four clubs. And apparently, I've heard that Lazio may also be going over to Konami as well. It's not confirmed yet, this one, but there's a chance. In terms of stadiums, there will also be the brand new stadium for Benfica. Benfica is not a ground in the game, and neither is Porto. I believe Porto and Benfica will be having their main stadiums in the game, such as where Chelsea won the Champions League final, which is a great, really cool stadium. There should also be a lot more La Liga clubs also added to the game for the stadium. So, like of Elche, like of Asawana, likes of Cadiz. Other stadiums as well, such as Freiburg, which wasn't there last year. That should be there to complete the Bundesliga package. And also, um, Bielefeld, um, Ar Armia Bielefeld, I think that's how you say it. They also will have their stadium there as well. So, a lot of stadiums. And last but not least, let's get into icons. So, there is a game called FIFA Online 4. And FIFA Online 4, they did a promo the other day. And they've got a lot of icons that could be there uh, for the next year. Now, this is very likely because all these people that's in this video, they are not icons right now, but are doing a video with EA in a FIFA licensed game. There's a good chance that a few players here, maybe even all of them, will be icons for the next FIFA. For example, in this video, we've got the likes of Gabriel Batista, got the likes of Yap Stam, got Jacob Forlan, got Ji Sung Park, got Wesley Snyder, got Ika Casillas. There's a lot of people that's in this video, even Robin Van Persie. So all these people are doing a promo with EA for FIFA Online 4, which is a FIFA licensed game. Definitely likely because they've done this before that they've done a thing with an icon let's say to promote the next game and suddenly that's fifa they're there as an icon the likes of casilla should definitely be there casilla should be there yap stam should be in there Forlan. Forlan would make sense because um, the Uruguay national team is now confirmed to be next game, the actual official licensed team. So it would make sense if they have Forlan in there as well. None of these are certainly confirmed to be in there, but they're working with EA. And also, I believe I saw Lucio with a FIFA online game mode as well. So all of these... These are the kind of people that you'd be expecting for the next icons. And also, last but not least, to add to this video are things that should be added and also removed from this game. They should also be the Europa Conference League added to the game because they've got the Champions League. They've got Europa League licensing, so there's no reason why EA would not also have the Europa Conference League licensing. So you'd be expecting that for the next game as well. And I believe, guys, this is absolutely everything. There's a lot to unpack here, a lot of new teams removed and added leagues, stadiums, icons, all this good stuff. So this is your one play. I may do this video like maybe next month as well. I will do one video that has absolutely everything that you need to know in here. So yeah, boys, there you go. That is everything about the new game of FIFA 22. You guys are interested in what is new for next game. So I thought I might as well share it with you guys. For you guys that still play it, I, I'll, still be, I'll still give it a go, but um, I just hope that they take a different stance with it because end of the day, I just want fun gameplay. And if it's not, if it's not fun gameplay, then pfft, you know what I mean? Just uh, good luck. Good luck. So, boys, there you go. That is everything to know about FIFA 22. I'll see you guys next time for another video. On the said, boys, peace out. Stay safe.